Well, our next guest has made his fortune through a number of uh, high-profile business ventures. I'm sure many of you have tried the Butterfield Diet Plan yeah, over course, the yeah. years. Uh, he also had his own detective agency, which was very mm. popular, a sporting lookalikes business that yeah. he ran for some time, a karaoke bar that yeah. was very popular. So... Yeah, I mean, it's... it's I particularly like the, the, in the diet plan, the, the pudding, which is ice cubes with artificial sweetener on. Yeah, that was right. I mean, you can it, eat as much of that as you wanted, it, it was good. Yes, it did, yeah. uh, which is why Brian's with us today. Hello. Uh, lovely Hello. to see you, Brian. Thank you very much. Lovely to see you too. Yes. Uh, all those businesses it actually made me a little nervous because they're all subject to, well, hundreds, actually, of lawsuits. <laughs> oh, right, OK. Uh, <laughs> so I'd appreciate it. if you didn't. Don't but you, no, don't you just not. don't, because I, I'm sort of banking on that people... People are going to forget about them. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah sure. So, uh, yes, I mean, when you look back on it, you've been touring around, talking to people about uh, mm. business around the country. You've got a big show next year at the events in Apollo, I see, next June. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? I believe it is. Uh, yes, uh, right. June? June, uh, the, June. The, the month, yes. Yes, it's at the, uh, uh, it's my business seminar, the Call of Now, uh, mm. which we're, we're doing a tour of at the moment, and then I'm next year. I'm doing another tour, and we're going to play the Apollo, uh, wow. e the Even Tim Apollo. I know it's called that because um, it's a very inclusive event. Oh, that's good. Anybody, anybody with any name can get in. Wow. Even Tim. Even Tim, Even which is Tim, which is great nice. for all the Tims out there. Which it I is. I don't quite mean that, but people call Tim. I'm going to call it that <laughs> yeah. because of the connotations it might have otherwise. Yeah. Um, so. Um, We've had, we've had some ideas coming in, Brian, because okay. when we've got your kind of expertise in the building, it yeah. seems only right that we should run a few ideas past you that the listeners have. Are you, are you happy to have a listen to yeah, that? Absolutely, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, well, this is uh, Barry from Hull. He says, a club crest toilet roll in the stadium. Uh, he was quite keen on that as an yeah. idea. So a Plymouth. I think crest. he thought like one end, one end. You know, the away end would have the opposite team. Yes. In 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 the toilet, so, so they could effectively the, wipe their backsides like, on the opposition. Yeah. Oh, I see. Idea. Yes, they could wipe their away end with the. Uh... <laughs> yeah, that's, yes. Well, then, you've nice got the marketing. Idea. I guess. Yes. 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 I mean, I think it's a little bit in poor taste. You know, yeah, oh, okay. that, that question, that the, the, the uh, that, that that thing. I'm not sure it was entirely serious. A little, <laughs> little bit of poor taste, and also it it does directly compete with one of my uh, businesses, my um, Butterfield's butt wipes. Ah, of course. So you know, I wouldn't want to promote anything that was going to uh, interfere with one of my businesses. Yeah. Have you been to many football matches, Brian? Are you a football man? Yeah, I'm. A, yes, I'm a football man. I'm interested. You know, I'm interested in buying a club. Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. yeah, I've, I'm in preliminary talks with Jurgen Klopp to take over Liverpool. Wow. Okay. And Everton. Okay. I want to take over both, both of them and uh, merge them into into one club, Liverpool yeah. United. Wow. Okay. And they love that. Yeah, yeah, I think I think so. I mean, you know, I've got it all planned out. I've got a, a 15 billion pound bid. Mm, okay. And um, I've spoken to Jürgen about it, yeah. and um, you know, and you know, I spoke to him a couple of days ago, and I can't do the voice, but he <laughs> said to me, he said, you know, Brian, look, this is great. You know, I'm just the manager. I'm not the uh, owner, but I mean, this all this money sounds great. Where are you going to get it? And well, well I, and I said, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. this is this is all I've got to sort. I've just got to sort out the funding. Yeah, That's the it. Fun, I've just yeah. got to get hold of the funding, and then, you know, we're going to merge the uh, the, the the two strips. So instead of red and blue, it okay. will be a mauve. Okay. Come on, you mauves. Oh, yeah, lovely. It's good. Um, we move the stadium to the Isle of Man to mm. a neutral uh, <laughs> territory. Mm -hmm. Um, is that for tax reasons? Or? It's, for, it's for many reasons. Okay. It's, it's also, it makes it uh, harder to attack the island. You know, it's, yeah. a, it's a little yeah. island. And, uh, yeah, so well, if you've got a few failed businesses, not failed, sorry, businesses under Dorman, investigation, Dorman, under investigation, yeah, then, yeah, you're, then you're, you're, you're absolutely going to pass the... The fit yeah, the test, Fit and Proper you know, Persons so. Act in football is... Uh, what is that? Um, well, they, 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 well I, I mean, a lot of people have asked that question, Brian, because it's surprising the amount of people that are able to buy football clubs. But from by the sound of it, we think you'll sail through that test. Yeah. There are some questions about your finances, about some Will basic they? ones. Do you have any money? If you just say yes... No. Then, then, oh, I see. No, no, I see. We're just... Do say yes, Do say yes. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's it. You're in. You're in. I mean, plenty of people have got clubs on that basis. 
You know, I've been practicing because uh, my new uh, football came out. Football game came out for the my console, the Botatendo, uh, <laughs> BFR 2024. Um, and uh, there's a mode on it where you sit in an office mm. and you negotiate with the owners of clubs okay. and uh, you sit and nod and uh, you choose, you know, there's a little yes, no, do you want, how much do you want to bid? Do you want to bid this much? It's basically, it's, it's actually the whole game is just that. <laughs> really? Oh, really? Uh, but that's what I've been using to practice my uh, negotiation. Yeah, mm. the 15 skills. billion, of course. 15, 15, 15 yeah. billion, it's a lot of money. It I mean, it's a lot, lot of money to it anybody. Is. It's it a is. lot of money. <laughs> it is. To anybody. Yes, it yeah. is. And, to um, anyone. Yeah. Well, are you looking for uh, other people to get involved to help you sort of finance this merge of Liverpool and Everton? Well, look, I'm hoping that the, I'm hoping BFA 24 uh, sells, sells a lot. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, we... You know, we haven't been able to license the uh, Premier League players or any players or mm. any clubs. Yeah. Okay. So we've we've invented our own uh, our own uh, players and clubs uh, that, you know, are sort of the similar kind of players that you would have in the Premier League. Oh, like yeah. we got, uh, you know, the Egyptian king Bo Bo Bala, oh, uh, yeah, of course, yeah. Barwin Bunyas, uh, yeah. Berling Barland. Yeah. Sure. Um, <laughs> we've got, uh, you know, other teams. We've got Liverpool, uh, yeah. best, best Bam. Manchester, uh, United. Ba ba Manchester, United. Uh, Manchester, uh, United. Manchester, Bitty. Manchester, yeah. Bitty. And, as well. uh, yes. Bottenham, Botspur, are they in there? Bottenham, Botspur. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I, so, yeah. Um, I've got that already. I can see. You I can, can see, see how it's it worked. You can see uh, how that's Charlie's worked. a fan of Borky. United. United, yeah, yeah. To go down the leagues at all? You're interested in lower league football at all? Lower leagues, lower leagues. Are these the ones that play on the subterranean pitches? <laughs> yes, More or less. Yeah. 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 Sometimes okay. it feels like yeah, it. Yeah. The cave dwelling players, yes, yeah. they're very sort of dark, <laughs> lit with torches. Yeah. Yes, I've seen those games. Yes, cave they're quite football. depressing. Actually, yeah. cave football sounds like a good business. Cave player. football. Oh, yes. Butterfield's cave football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, football yeah. in a cave. Football, football in a cave. I see you've just written that down in light pencil. So I mean, it's maybe something you'll come back to. I don't know. But is that, is that what it's life as an entrepreneur? You, you spot an idea and you write it, and who knows? That's it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Um, you know, you've got to you've got to take take life as it uh, as it comes, and, mm. and these in, these inspirations are all around. They you, are. You know, mm. that's right. I no. mean, just look around here. I mean, actually, I can't. I don't have any. I can't think of anything. I mean, there's a few things here. I yeah. Mean, yeah. There's a clock, you know, and all yeah. I can think of is, you know, a clock. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs, Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4, on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app, and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.